How's it going everybody? Adam here from Coding Basics and welcome to your fifth tutorial in Python. Now, up until this point, if you've been watching all the other videos I've published, all the variables we've used, we kind of uh, create them in PowerShell um, just by uh, giving them a name and then setting a value to it. But just say you want to know the you like not everyone's name is going to be Adam. So just say you want to get the user's name as using the program. How do you get that? So that's basically what this video is all about. It's all about user input. We're going to start by looking at string input and then move on to number input. So getting input is quite simple. You type in raw underscore input. And then in here, in quotation marks, you kind of put a prompt message. So in this case, I'll just say enter your name. And you'll see, that's what's going to pop up. So I can enter my name, and it will print it out, and it prints out the string. So raw input automatically takes whatever you type in and get a string. Now, if I want to store that into a variable, I would do the same thing. So name equals raw underscore input. Enter your name there. Yeah, I'll just leave it at my. Okay. So that is how you do string input. Very simple. Um, the message here can be anything. And yeah, they can type in anything. So, example, uh, age. So, almost the exact same thing. Raw underscore input. But instead, this time in the brackets, we're going to type in what is your age? What is your age? So, if I type in 19. Now, if I reference age, it's going to print out 19. But you'll notice something. It prints out a string with the number 19 in it. If you're just getting their age to put in some sort of message, like, you know, kind of like a, a string representation of them. So if you just wanted to say, um, I don't, I don't know. I can't really think of an example now. But if you just wanted a string representation of uh, the age of the person, that's fine. But just say I want to do math with this. So uh, just say uh, your car insurance, I guess. Just say somehow you're doing a car insurance program, and obviously younger people, uh, historically horrible drivers, so their car insurance is worse. Uh, a lot more money. So if uh, I want to do math with this number, that wouldn't work. F easy fix for this. So example, age equals, and then I can do int inside int raw underscore input. What is your age? Make sure I close off both brackets. If I type in 19, now if I reference age, I get a numerical value for that. And you can do the exact same thing. So uh, uh, if I did this, but I wanted to do a float instead, just in case they entered a decimal. So uh, float. Someone could be 19, and they might want to say they're 19 and a half. So, yeah, that's all there is to getting input. Very quick, short tutorial. So, yep. Uh, raw underscore input is all you need to type in for string input. If you want a number, you just type cast that to an int or type cast it to a float to store it as a number. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember to uh, give it a like, uh, comment. Uh, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I have no problem answering them. So that's all for this video, and I will see you guys in my next one.